Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we think this is the uh, third live we've done for Diosa Design uh, since we started our Kickstarter. So uh, this live is really exciting because we get to go through all of our features for our backpack. We've been able to do this uh, through our photos on social media and the Kickstarter, but we think it's really great that we're able to do it live for you guys now and you guys can answer some questions for us. It's uh, really exciting that we kind of get to, you know, show you in real time all the amazing features that the My Collection has, and uh, we kind of get to answer your questions in the process. So I'm here with my mom, Kim. Well, not really. I'm here just virtually with my mom, Kim. Um, we are uh, separated right now. I'm calling in from home. She's calling in from the office. We're doing this because COVID regulations are starting to tighten up in um, uh, Newfoundland. So we just want to make sure that everyone is staying safe. Uh, so I have some products to show. My mom has some products to show from her end. We'll be answering your questions live about anything you want to know about the bag or the Maya collection or the Kickstarter. Uh, we're here to answer your questions and uh, help you guys out. So I'll bring it to my mom now so she can go over the backpack and uh, show you some of our amazing features. Okay, great. So yeah, we're really excited to do this because we've told many people for many years about this backpack and we haven't actually had a chance to really show you firsthand uh, really what it looks like. And keep in mind, this is our prototype. Um, it's very close to the one that's coming that we have ordered. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to change a whole lot. So the, the bag itself is made out of vegan leather. And the reason we decided to go with the vegan is we're trying very hard to be um, a very sustainable company. So we're looking at different textiles, different um, things that we feel good about uh, putting in this bag because we want you to feel good about when you wear this bag. The, um, the front, we decided to put a, a light color here. Uh, the contrast is nice. This is gonna be more of a cashmere color. Again, this is just our prototype. It is embossed with the Diosa logo. It's very simple and very subtle. The front has a nice zipper pouch and it's great because it's the quick place to put your phone. It's also good for your Diosa face mask, which we all wear. Uh, phone, quick, uh, you know, access to anything I need very quickly in the run of a day. That's where I find that. <clears throat> the tabs are really nice because they fit perfectly between your thumb and forefinger. And they're in the um, natural colored leather. So that gives it a little bit of a casual chicish look and uh, we're delighted with that. The first compartment zips pretty far down so it gives you lots of access to the inside. There's some pockets here. I think you can see those. Uh, again, this liner, while it's recycled, it's not the print. I'm gonna show you a just a picture of the print now in a minute. Um, the pockets here are only um, half because we all hate big deep pockets. You can put a pin in here, you can put your business cards, you can put a bunch of things. A little tiny half pocket as well, right here, because we don't, um, we hate big pockets, don't we all? Because you ever find anything. But it is nice and deep and you can put quite a, a large amount of items in here. When you get your bag, you're also gonna get this little bag and it's, we call it the shoe bag, the gym clothes bag, your overnight uh, change of you know, whatever bag, uh, that will come in the bag when you get it. And that will be in the recycled liner print as well. So that uh, that that particular uh, space here can also hold uh, your water bottle. Um, we do have the Swell water bottles that are um, different colors, and I'll get those for you in just a moment. The other thing we do have is access to a USB port so you can actually charge a battery. We will be selling online the nimble battery, the battery pack, sorry. So you charge this at home. When, you get in your, your, when you're getting ready in the morning, you get this ready, you put it inside your, uh, there's a sleeve in here, it'll fit inside your bag. And then when you're going throughout the day and you lose power, which we all do, because especially me, I never charge my phone enough. My daughter reminds me, I then just put, my cord here and then do my charging and so then you can just have easy access to charging your phone and using it at the same time so that's a really cool uh, we have a question here does it hold an iPad <laughs> oh 
We haven't gotten to that part yet. <laughs> it, it does. And just before I get to that part, I want to show you this last little pocket on the front. This is for your keys. You'll never, ever lose your keys again. They'll always be in this one spot. So it's a it's a nice, uh, nice health feature. Um, keys on here. You can put a number of keys there. And then it slips in this little side pocket. So even on your back, you can quickly zip it off, take your key out, and open your door. It is going to be a beautiful feature. Because if you're like me, your keys are at the bottom of your bag all the time. So now to answer that question, we do have a, a tablet, iPad, and up to a 15-inch sleeve for your uh, computer. The tablet fits in here and iPad, and also you can put a uh, computer here as at 15 inches. It also will hold up to a uh, legal size folder, which will not catch in the zipper. Um, I'll get that too as well and just show you that. Uh, the other side of the bag has these features. Uh, we will have a lovely little saying here that will make you smile when you read it. Uh, we have pockets here for putting, it could be just your hardware, it could be, you know, package of gum. Another little um, uh, half pocket here, good for extra glasses. Uh, we have enough pockets, but yet not too many, because sometimes too many is annoying as well. The back is kind of our favorite part, because when we first designed the bag, it was always about a backpack. Katie and I talked about needing a really classy, sexy, functional backpack. But I talked to a woman and said, oh, what do you want in a backpack? And she said, well, actually, I don't like backpacks. And I'm like, oh, my God, you don't like backpacks? So we decided, let's make a, a really versatile bag. It's a backpack. But in the event that you don't want to have a backpack, we now put the little hidden sleeve in here so you can hide your straps. And now it's a nice sleek back. And you can would put it on its side with a strap that we've actually included inside the bag. So you will get that with your bag as well. This allows you to do a cross body or shoulder. So sometimes the people who do not want a backpack and they just want to carry it on their side like a briefcase style, messenger style, or you can put it over your shoulder and carry it that way. The other cool feature about the back is when you have it in this mode, you can hide these little D-rings in these little compartments that are very cute and very clean lines. And you're traveling, so you need a place to put the um, handle of your pull luggage. That's really nice because usually that falls off, as we know, and that's just a nice little feature. But what I wanted to do was put a hidden compartment that fits your boarding pass and your passport right in that little spot because we're always looking for a place to put that and we can never find it. Uh, just so, a question, uh, does the Maya bag qualify as a carry-on? It does. It does meet standards. I have put it in that little, that little metal frame and says put your carry-on luggage in here. It fits in there perfectly with lots of room. So it will fit in uh, the overhead compartment and under your seat. So what I wanted to show you was this is the pattern on the inside. Now I do apologize, it is a print, but if you can kind of see up close, we do have the Diosa symbol very faintly and it's really a cashmere color, which will match this as well. So it won't be completely white. We didn't want it dark because when we did our survey and talked to the focus groups, most people said the inside of the bag, if it's dark, you can never find anything. And if it's white, it's going to get absolutely dirty. So we figured this was a nice compromise and it was a very sleek, rich, good look for the inside of the bag. And just another note, uh, Mom, that we can fit an iPad in the front uh, pocket as well for easy access. Yes. I don't have an iPad myself, but you can hold <laughs> no problem at all. When you do get the bag, it will come inside another bag. We are bag ladies, by the way. Uh, this, this will actually fit into this bag. Oops, I can probably do it this way. Where it's, this is still prototype. Uh, it'll fit in this bag very nicely, and it's a protector bag. But this bag becomes uh, a shopping bag. It becomes your yoga bag. Um, it's just a really cool, uh, lovely 
a slim bag that you can um, use, reuse a hundred times. So when you do get your bag, you'll get many different bags with it. So maybe I'll pass you over to Katie to talk about the other things that come inside the bag. Yes. Well, thank you, Kim. I'm trying to decide if I should call her Kim or mom in the workplace. Let me know if anyone else has that issue working with your mom. Um, so um, we are proud to say that we have lots of accessories in the in the My Collection line for Diosa. Uh, we wanted to make sure that um, you have a bag for every occasion, that all of your belongings are taken care of, and that you can go anywhere with the My Collection. So this is the crossbody bag slash clutch that will come with the Maya. You can see it's in the same um, white uh, front, which will be more of a cream color in the actual bag. It has our stamped logo on it, of course, and it has a black back with a zipper for easy access. What's great about this bag is that it can be used as a clutch or a makeup bag. It's the perfect size for it. But with that same strap that my mom showed you for the messenger bag, you can use that for the crossbody as well. I have actually been using this bag for about three weeks and it is my favorite go-to bag. It fits everything I need, wallet, keys, phone, mask, uh, everything in this bag. It's um, The lining will be bright, uh, like you saw when my mom showed that uh, little sketch or the print off. It will be light inside so you can find everything really, really easy in this bag. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that everything in the bag stayed contained. So that's what we introduced our little coin purse. Uh, this is another one of my favorite uh, little accessory bags we have. We included the natural features in this one as well. As you can see with the wristlet, it will have that same cream lining on the inside. So it'll be really nice and easy to see that everything is inside there. Um, this is a great little uh, coin purse that you can use for everything. Uh, you can keep your cards in here, again, your mask, um, AirPods <laughs> for AirPod users. Um, so these are really two great little tiny bags that really complement your Maya backpack in your Maya collection. Uh, so these ones are definitely going to be ones you're gonna see um, uh, on our website and in our Kickstarter right now. Uh, so we have a few questions. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, a question I was asked was, this is light, and with the vegan leather, you know, it will maybe show a little bit of dirt. Well, we can't help it. Uh, and is it easy to clean? And it is because last night I had borrowed that little purse from Katie because we bore each other's things. And I decided to clean the, the front of it. And with all purpose cleaner, uh, non toxic, non chemical, uh, I was able to wipe uh, the surface of that small bag and of this surface. and. As you can see, it's still gleaming and very nice. So the vegan leather is very easy to care for. Just want to make the note of that. Awesome, for sure. Uh, so we have a few questions. Um, so one is, uh, we have a, a, a common here, great feature power option in the bag. My question would be, will the power bank be included within the bag's retail price or do we buy it separately from the website? So it is a separate purchase on the website. I don't know if you want to show the power bank again, um, uh, Mom, and I'll kind of explain it. So we teamed up with uh, a company called Nimble who make uh, recycled power banks. So these are completely recyclable uh, in an effort to be uh, a sustainable company moving forward and not putting more junk out into the earth. We only want to partner with companies who have a eco-friendly and sustainable background. So as you can see here, we have our little power bank that will uh, be sold separately on our website, but there will be a space for it in the backpack so that you can slip it in, charge the port, and then charge your phone on the go. Um, and what's great about the battery pack being separate is that you can use it for anything else. So you can keep it charged at home and charge anything you like, your speakers, your phone, uh, anything that can be charged um, through that. So this is a really great product that we will be selling on our website. And they also include this little uh, shipping bag that you send this back when it uh, when it no longer works. Now it should work for a very long time. It's not an issue. But any kind of re any kind of hardware that's uh, uh, chargers or anything like that, they actually ask you to send them what you have, not just the Nimble product, and they will recycle any of the hardware that's a charging mechanism. So that's pretty cool. A company like gives you a, a free shipping bag to send back your items so you don't throw them in the landfill. Is the battery pack heavy is a question. <laughs> uh, it is, but it, to me, it feels substantial. It feels like it's probably got a lot of power in it. I know it sounds kind of weird, 
because it weighs heavy, but I would say it's a very substantial piece. I don't think it's going to make your bag that much heavier, but yeah, it's got a bit of weight to it. I'll be honest. Perfect. And uh, I know we just have the prototype right now, but could we show where the water bottle will go in the backpack? Absolutely. Excuse me one minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get to showcase our brand new Swell water bottle. So actually, you guys are the first to hear that we have partnered with Swell, and we will be having the Diosa logo on some Swell water bottles to sell on our website next month. Uh, this is really exciting for us because we love Swell. We love the company. We love what they stand for. And they have beautiful, beautiful products, as you can see here. So we'll have three colors available for retail. Uh, so this is one of them with our Diosa logo on it. Um, Swell bottles are really incredible. I've had a few uh, where they keep things hot or cold. So they're a great thermos. Uh, but really, they're just a great option when you're looking for a water bottle. They're extremely durable, and this is part of our built-to-last mandate, where we want to make products that are uh, built-to-last. We don't want to, uh, you know, put more plastics or harmful chemicals out in the world. We really want things to be uh, sustainable. So we're really excited to, to partner with Swell on this. So we have three colors to choose from, and my mom can show you where they go in the bag. <laughs> So when you get your bag, on this side, there's going to be a nice little holder for your water bottle. The other side will be for the battery pack. It'll fit quite nicely in here. The reason we put it on the inside was, well, for lots of reasons. A, we're trying to make this a very sleek, uh, professional looking bag. You know, when there's a water bottle hanging off the end, it just kind of makes it a little more casual. Um, we want it to look really classy. The other issue is when it's on its side and you've got it as a cross body, we didn't want your bottle sideways in the bag so there was any spillage um, So on the outside. So when it's on the inside, it'll be nice and secure and you don't have to worry about it hitting off things and it can, your bag can lie down like this and be quite, your water bottle is quite safe inside and tucked away at the same time. Yeah, so and you don't have to worry about spillage with a swell water bottle. The cap is very, very tight, um, so you don't have to worry about spills inside your bag. The swell water bottles are, um, like I said, very dur durable, built to last, uh, and they keep your liquids in there, so you don't have to worry about that. I love this comment uh, about the water bottle holder. It says, wine for a hike at the cabin, good stuff. Uh, you're right. Kim made that to leave with a wine bottle in mind as well. I did. You see the, the see the length. I didn't bring a wine bottle, but it would fit in here absolutely perfectly. Just saying. <laughs> um. So yeah. So that is the Maya backpack and all of its features. Um. So we're really excited that uh, we had a lot of people on this live to watch us. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we love doing these because it helps us connect with our audience a bit more and answer some questions live for you guys. Um. Our Kickstarter is still running. So I know uh, one of our helpful um, coworkers will probably put the Kickstarter link in the comments. Um, so we are almost at 30% of our goal, guys, and we have two weeks left. So we really need your help in sharing the link, getting your friends on board. Um, to anyone who wants a sustainable, built-to-last product, um, we're really trying to contribute to a more eco-friendly um, consumerism cycle. We, we are uh, really trying to, like I said, not put more junk into the world and create really amazing, sustainable products. That's a, a mandate at Diosa. And with your help through the Kickstarter, we can do this. So we really, really appreciate any shares, any help that you can give us uh, during this time. Uh, it means the, the world to us. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us. Um, if you have any other questions, message our Facebook um, page. Uh, send us an email at info at Diosa Designs. Um, really get in contact with us if you have any questions about Diosa at all. We're, we're, we're very happy to share. Uh, as you can see, our Kickstarter page is right there. You can go, you can watch our video, you can see all our products. We have our story listed in there. So really anything you want to find out about um, Diosa, you can find out through our Kickstarter page, which is now in the comments of this live video. So you guys can check that out. So thank you again for joining you guys. We'll have another live next week. <laughs> and we'll, we'll have a few of those before Christmas uh, to share some exciting uh, news we have coming up for you guys. So thanks again and have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for, sh for watching.